Good morning all, uh, Pete from Wholesale Vape, Disco E Liquids. If you're watching this video, ladies and gents, uh, hopefully you've bought one from ourselves or a local store, uh, or uh, you're one of the staff, new staff members that we'll take on. If it's a new staff member, pay close attention. I've sold thousands of these machines in the past. Saved many. Uh, saved many, many sales with this machine. It's an amazing machine. Uh, hopefully Steve don't keep butting in as I'm going through my uh, little speech here. I know he's a bit of a expert but he's too frightened to get in front of the camera uh <laughs> what i've done to start with ladies and gentlemen i've i've filled this tank up because as i'll explain in a minute when i unbox it uh you need to let it soak in soak into the coil for around about 15 minutes i think it used to say on the uh on the soaking in load it and five minutes later start vaping but we believe it's to be 15 to 20 minutes so i've I done that three or four minutes ago so that's soaking in now that tank and I'll show you an unboxing, exactly what you get in the box. And basically a very simple step-by-step. -step. Uh, if you bought one or your staff, you need to learn how to sell them to customers. Because we believe this to be one of the best machines around. It's been around for a few years. As you can see, ladies and gents, it comes in many colours. Uh, the colour's not that important. The more important thing is the fact that it will stop you smoking. Getting off the cigarettes. I'm just going to undo this one a minute, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we've got a T18 here. If, it's, if you bought it from a reputable trader, you'll have the scratch and reveal thing on the back. Because uh, have, there have been some cheaper copies of these sold online. But we buy these direct from Minican, so obviously just be wary if you buy them on a market store or anything like that. comes in a sleeve there. It tells you all your uh, uh, information there. You've got two mil tank and a Japanese cotton inside. 1,000 milliamp battery, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so the sleeve there which you don't really need so I'll put that down there as you can see there's lots of colours uh, then inside your box you've got a, a spare coil which I'll tell you about in a minute you've got a I think you've got yeah you've got two spare drip tips in there ladies and gents that's nice so you can choose whatever drip tip you want which is the bit that goes on the end, end of that so if you don't like that silver one you could take that off and put a different colour one on or a different shape, whichever you prefer. Uh, there's your battery. You've got a stand there, which I've never really seen many people use, but you've got one just in case you wanted to use it. I mean, it would be, you know, if you put it on your side at home, I can't remember to put these together. Let's just give a quick, quick, quick look. It's very simple. Put that down. There you go, it goes like that. You've got a nice little can stand there, which you would stand your sort of uh, mod on when you put it up. You stand it like that. I suppose it would stop any leaking issues, but you don't get much leaking issues with these. Uh, you've got your battery there. You've got a, a book, which explains everything. There's your charger. What sort of charger is this, Steve? That was a question. It's a standard charger. It's a standard charger. Like you USB. can't use an iPhone charger no, no, for these. No, no. No, it's not, it can't be. What amps have it got to be? One amp and lower. One amp and lower. So make sure you don't use your iPhone chargers for these. It's just a one amp or lower. So you plug that in, plug that into your battery to recharge your battery. You uh, spin that over like that, ladies and gentlemen. One end goes into your USB charger. That goes into the bottom of your battery like that, and that will charge it up, uh, which is quite straightforward. Pull that out a minute. Right now, to fill one of these, I'm going to be using that tank there because I, this one's already soaking in, ladies and gentlemen, rather than using up another machine. I mean, there are a thousand, the small, the T T18E, which is the one that I've got here, ladies and gents, they fire at 14 watts. It's very simple. They set it on 14 watts. Uh, also, in the category as well, if you want longer battery life, like this is a thousand milliamp battery, this one, should last you the best part of the day. But also, if you wanted a bigger battery one, you can buy that one there. It's a little bit dearer. It's around about £30 in our shops. But whatever price you're paying, ladies and gentlemen, this could stop you smoking. So, uh, you know, if it's a bit dearer in your shop, you know, all shops have got to make a bit of profit, obviously. Uh, so you've got that one there, which is around about 30, and that one there that's around about 23 to 25 pound in most shops, I would imagine. Uh, but that's not really what we're talking about, the price today. We're talking about ease of... Now I put juice into there about 10 minutes ago now, uh, and a lot of the juice will have soaked into the cotton. To fill the juice up, I'm going to put some more juice in there. I know that's soaked into the cotton. I don't need to. I'm just, I'm just doing it just because you can see a lot of the juice has gone down. 
And there's the top screws on. I'm going to show you how to take the tank apart and change the pool. On this one here. But when you get it new out of the box, ladies and gentlemen, to fill it up, you just unscrew the top like that. It's pretty simple to do. Just unscrew that. Uh, you make sure whatever you do, don't put it down the middle. You put it down the sides like that. Put the juice down the sides. Squeeze that and it'll fill it up and then let it soak in for 15 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm not going to fill this one up because if I did, you won't be able to uh, see what I'm going to show you now. Now, eventually, we say the co we would say the coil on this, if you're puffing it correctly, should last you a week. What does it say on the box, Steve? A week to 10 days? Yeah. I would say that's about the average. But if you're over puffing it, like, you know, we get people all the time, ladies and gents, that come in and say, oh, I don't puff it much, and they like like this the whole time like a dummy in and out of their mouth. Now, obviously, that's not the ideal scenario. If you have a puff, like I'm going to have a puff now, leave it to cool down for a little while, have another puff, then put it down, ladies and gentlemen, have another. But if you're constantly puffing on that, you're, you're going to drain the uh, liquid out of the cotton and then that's going to burn the cotton and your coil will burn out quickly. Like for instance, if I put that machine there onto that and puffed it before it was soaked into the coil properly, then what would happen, It wouldn't the, the cotton wouldn't be wet. So uh, it would burn the coil out. And, you know, we get it a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously we sell a lot of these machines. Uh, so whatever you do, don't go filling this up with juice and then vaping it straight away, that's crucial. Now to fill it up with juice, I've showed you how to fill it up with juice. Now eventually when the coil burns out, don't try and save your old juice. Throw your old juice away. So just supposing I've thrown the juice away there. Unscrew the bottom like that. Just unscrew it like that. Uh, it's very simple, ladies and gentlemen. You just pull the coil out like that. That'd be your old coil. Throw that one away. Grab a new coil. Get a new coil. Now if you can see on there, ladies and gents, there's a ridge. And there's a ridge on the coil. So if you don't put it in right, you don't actually, once you're experienced with this, you'll feel it dropping. You see how it dropped down then? I'll pull it out again and show you again, ladies and gents. See, you haven't really even got me watching. Because, you well, that's dropped down already. Uh, so that's not right. That's not dropped in. We get this all the time. People coming back, although we tell them, obviously they don't listen. Now, if anyone ever walks into a vape shop, and uh, before they even open their mouth and say anything, you know what's happened. They haven't put the coal in properly, like that. So they will, will, the, the juice will leak out the bottom. You'll have all sorts of problems. It will leak out the top. We see that all the time. They think by just pushing the coil in, that's not in properly. Uh, and we, we just say, oh, no, you've got to do this. So basically, when you, you'll see it dropping in the meat. You'll see, as I put my tear, it dropped down there on my finger, I'll do it one more time. So put my coil in. Right, that's not in at the moment. Spin it round like that. You'll see my fingers dropping. See how it dropped? So the coil's got to go into those lines. If you've got good eyesight, you can see it's all, all flush and in the right gap. That's crucial with this machine, ladies and gents. All right, and then you put the bottom in, and as you'll see, the bottom part will fit properly. I'll get the thread in right. And it'll shut properly, and there's no, there's no gap in between. If ever you see a machine like that, it's telling you straight away they haven't got the coil in properly. All right, so then you know what the problem is. So check out, ladies and gents. Stick that back on there a second. Put the lid on. Right, it should be uh, soaked in now, my machine. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, if you are uh, if you bought one of these, I'm sure you're going to love this machine, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a member staff, make sure you explain to people properly uh, what they're doing because this will stop people smoking without a shadow of a doubt ladies and gentlemen it's an amazing machine uh, to turn it on it's three times you'll see a light change one two three see it's flashed and it's come on now if i push it now it'll go green when it goes to amber that means it's less than i think it's 20 percent 50 oh it's 50 percent amber is it yeah they're telling me 50 percent uh Obviously, oh, there we go. We've got it on there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if it goes to amber, it's less than 50% charged. And when it goes to red, it's less than 10%, is it? Yeah, yeah, 10%, that's correct, yeah. So 
that that machine and then you screw it onto your when, when we set those, these up in shops often for the newbies what we do is we fill it up with juice and we say wait till you get home so that's soaking in while they're going home that's in crucial or wait 10 because if they try and do it themselves they never wait long enough so make sure often we set them up put it back in the thing for them and, uh, and then when they get home they can turn it it's turned on now and as if if you can hear it it should start buzzing i can hear that yeah buzzing uh, and that's that's all ready to go ladies and gentlemen basically then you just stick it in your mouth it really is a good draw this one ladies and gentlemen but just like i said give it a couple of minutes in between to cool or a couple of 10 20 seconds in between each puff to let it cool down and these machines really should see you well ladies and gentlemen we've sold thousands and upon thousands of these it's been around for a few years but it really is a good starter kit lots of people we always say to people the truth of the matter is truthfully you need a couple of machines and as you can see there's many different colors many people come in when it's their birthday they ask your friends ask your relatives say oh you can get me another t18e so they've got several of these my mum's got about half a well she's probably got 10 of these she's got one in every color uh so you know which one you're using and it, this you know they are amazing machines i don't want this video to go on too long and if you're a bit worried about the battery life ladies and gentlemen go for the bigger one uh obviously it's bigger the battery life will last you longer when when it runs out just plug it in on your charger and just let it charge and it should all be good ladies and gentlemen it's only a quick video today uh if, if you're a customer who bought one you know hopefully you found this video helpful and if you're a member of staff obviously you should be watching these videos because this this really is important stuff you know stopping people smoking selling the right product explain to them what they need to do don't just say when somebody comes in i want to stop smoking pick up a machine say oh there you go there's that explain about the soaking in the coil is very important explain about that bit about the coil going in uh because obviously otherwise we want people to stop smoking so they're happy and you know they get off stinkies amazing thanks very much ladies and gentlemen see you around